What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a really unique and uh, hard-hitting dubstep snare inside Kick 2. And uh, this is the more easier way to make it. If you guys want a more in-depth video on how to, uh, like a more advanced uh, snare uh, creation, just let me know. And uh, by the end of this tutorial, we'll be learning how to make this snare. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to do is uh, send uh, your Kick 2 to a mixer, which I've done already, and turn the volume down just a little bit. So we get this noise, this little sound here, which you don't really want, that's for making kicks. So you're gonna go to Curve Preset, Curves, and then Snare 1, and you get this sound. So we're gonna change the sound up a lot, we're gonna you know, fine tune it, make a nice transient on top of it. So first thing I like to do is take the top point here, the first one, and put up the C10. So you don't really need this second point, so we're gonna double click it to delete it. And just by uh, moving this around, you can actually make a transient. The higher you go up, the, the harder transient is. The lower you go down, the softer the transient is. So let's try to make a nice spot. Sounds pretty nice. Let's take this little point here, go up to E4. That makes a nice little ramp. Do the same thing right here. Uh, let's take the fine tune here and go down to D. Nice little bass note there. So now you get this. Sounded pretty good already. So we're gonna shorten the length a little bit. Uh, that sounds like pretty good uh, length right there. Go into amp and we're gonna try to make this little shape here. There we go. So now I can already see our snare it has a nice little transient, kind of you know fades out, which uh, we kind of want there. So let's uh, go down to EQ here, take uh, decrease the uh, the low end, uh, maybe a little bit of the mids, and then go to distortion and turn it up just a little bit. It sounds like the transient is a little bit too harsh. Turn it down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so let's go to click one here and we're not going to use the default clicks because they don't really sound that good well these do for kicks but if you're using the, you know the snares or is that the snare ones they sound pretty bad we don't really want those so we're going to be using the user section and i want to put the uh, all the snare uh user snares noises uh and clicks that i use down a link in link in the description for you guys so we're going to user snares and let's use Xylent snare, short snare one. So we get this. So let's try and shorten a little bit because we just want we want that transient and this like the short hit, uh, hit of the snare. Just like that. So we play it together with our uh, bass uh, snare, something like this. So you can tell that the snare is starting to starting to. Uh, fit itself starting to sound really nice nice little transient hitting there so let's go to click two and add some reverb type of snare or like a snare crash so you get this let's do the same thing maybe uh start a little bit uh, earlier There we go. And we're going to do the same thing with click three. Let's use this one. This kind of has more reverb on there. Just kind of boost it up. And then kind of fade it out. There we go. Now we have our bass snare. And so What's really going to make this snare sound really nice and unique is uh, post-process, you know, mixing it. So let's actually go to Mixer 3, open up a EQ2, kind of widen this up a little bit. And I just tell when you uh, play it, and the EQ can see as a harsh 
frequency hitting right there in the mids. So we're going to try to kind of reduce that. But we don't want to re reduce it too much because we still want that attack. And uh, let's maybe dip down. Yeah, maybe the mids. Bring up the band right there, maybe a little bit high end. And already you have this before, after. Sounds pretty nice. So uh, if you want, you could do that, you know, if you don't like the how the transient is hitting and, you know, the second band there in the mids, you could just, you know, get down a little bit more. But I think we're pretty good on that one. So let's open up Maximus. Let's use the one band drums limiter. Turn this down a little bit. There we go. Let's maybe add a sound godizer. Uh, let's do B. And it sounds like this should be a little bit shorter. And let's go to, where is it at? Destructor. Turn these off. Maybe turn it down. There we go. Now we have that. Now let's add our little snare noise here. Uh, where are you at? And it should be. Yep, there we go. Send that to mixer four. Turn down a little bit. And we want this to be side chained so that way whenever the snare hits, it's ducking the little attack there. So it's kind of making you know a nice little curve. For instance, it goes like that instead of, you know, hitting. So let's actually open up an EQ, remove the low end, a little bit of mids here. And then uh, let's get the hollow room. Uh, the decay is a little bit too much. And then let's just add a ozone imager to kind of make it stereo. There we go. And this is what we have. And uh, if you just mess around with the attack here, it'll be short enough. Sounds like the, t the transient a little bit too much. There we go. And there we go. That's your first snare. And uh, if you want, you just kind of just run this out here. Hit Alt, Control, C. And then now you have your first snare made in kick two. Still a little reversing. It sounds pretty cool like that. Bam, bam. There you go. You have your first snare. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, if you guys want some more tutorials on uh, Kick 2, like how to make a dubs up um, kick, uh, more in-depth video of uh, uh, creating a snare without any of these um, samples, just let me know. And uh, see you guys later.